My name is Stephen Canales, and I match into internal medicine pediatrics at LSU Shreveport. My name is Felicia Mix, and I match into the University of Miami in physical medicine and rehab, and I also match into the transitional year program at Mountain View here in Las Cruces. My name is Courtney. I match into internal medicine at Brown University at Kent Hospital in Warwick, Rhode Island. I'm really looking forward to just taking ownership of my patients completely, being able to train and learn about everything that I can in terms of the pediatric population and the adult population, and being really able to take care of their transitions of care. I am most looking forward to treating rehab patients. I love the aspect of medicine of making people feel better, and that's all rehab, and I'm so excited to get into that. I'm looking forward to working in a smaller program. My program's 13, uh, 13 residents, so being able to form that family environment like what we have here in Burrell. And it's on the East Coast, and that's where I'm from, the Northeast, so I'm looking forward to being close to home. On top of being prepared for kind of the sciences, the fundamental kind of clinical medicine part of it, I really feel like the emphasis put on the humanistic side of medicine really helped me stand out uh, from my peers from other institutions in the United States. I'm a student who probably would get um, swallowed in by a big academic center and Burrell really made those intimate connections with me through like the anatomy program is one I use as a big example just teaching me things from professionalism to the academic side in the cadaver lab to the clinical side on rotations um, in all aspects I feel very very ready for residency. We work here along the border so having access to an underserved area is something that I was looking for uh, in my medical uh, training and in addition to my residency training so being able to see hands-on how underserved uh, communities are affected really motivated me to uh, want to be a doctor. The fact that we get to train in such a diverse population uh, that really ranges in various socioeconomic statuses uh, gives us a very, very huge legs uh, up because you don't get that everywhere. I know that in a lot of places you kind of are stuck with a certain demographic, but not here, especially since we're located in a border city. Uh, we have a lot of migrants that come back and forth through the border. You get to see a lot of interesting pathology because of that. One thing that I think is really unique of Burrell is our rotation sites, our clinical rotation experiences. I talk to other medical students who are on a team with a lot of different medical students and residents, which can be good for a rotation or two, which we do have here. But a lot of my rotations are one-on-one -on -one with my attending. I'm first assist in the OR. I'm the one doing the injections um, in, the, in the outpatient clinic. So I think I have received a lot of um, experiences that I wouldn't have been able to in a, in a bigger or a different setting and rotation. We're really fortunate in the fact that we work one-on-one -on -one with our attendings. So being able to get constant feedback uh, understand where we need to improve and then constantly working on those areas I think puts us apart from other medical students. The level of support and kind of camaraderie amongst the medical students and class that I found here has been probably one of the things I was least expecting but definitely one of the things that I needed the most uh, because I know that I really wouldn't be here today without that the relationships that I that I made with my classmates and my attendings and my professors at Burrell really stand out to me the most. Um, I will remember these people forever and stay in touch for forever. Being able to have that constant support with the professors, the educational specialists were amazing in terms of like helping me set up like study uh, strategies so that I thought that really set me up to be successful. Uh, it feels good to kind of move on to that next step, uh, to kind of achieving kind of what I set out to do way back when I was an undergrad. It feels so good to graduate. Um, I'm ready for tomorrow and excited for what the rest of my life has to hold. <laughs> it's very surreal and I'm very happy. I get a little teary-eyed thinking about it because I worked really hard and I'm just very happy and fortunate to have this uh, opportunity. So thank you.